Welcome to Painting with Rec. My name is Mrs. Sam, and today in honor of spring, we're going to be painting tulips in a teacup. The supplies we're going to need today is acrylic paint in a variety of colors. We're going to be starting with white, yellow, red, green, and brown. You're going to need an old cup for water, a variety of paint brushes, and some paper towels for cleanup. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be starting out with a 16 by 20 inch canvas here. And we're going to be using a large flat brush and starting for our background with white and green paint that we're going to be mixing together. So we're going to take our large flat brush, we're going to grab some white and a little tiny bit of green and we're going to kind of mix that up in the center. So we get this really nice light green for that background. After you've mixed up all your colors, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be going up and down motion on our canvas. And we're going to be hitting the whole thing. And to add a little bit of texture, you can grab a little bit more green and add that in and kind of mix that right on your canvas. And that'll look really, really nice. So don't be afraid to play around with texture and color as you go. It's going to create a lot of interest for your background. So spring is coming up and we want to bring in the flowers. So that is why I chose this painting for today. All right. This is the real fun part, just really kind of play around with your two colors here. All right. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be covering up a lot with our teacup and our tulips. This painting is fun for all ages. Um, it's, a, it's an easy painting, so this would be a really fun family painting to do together, or kids can even do this on their own. So again, I'm just grabbing colors from both sides, mixing it in that center, and going up and down motion on my canvas. Painting is one of the many services that Cadell Fine Arts offers here. We do painting on Fridays, typically from noon to 2.30. We mostly paint with acrylic, but we are now going to be offering watercolor and oil painting in the future. So this is a great place to start here at home so that you can kind of get a feel for it. When you're painting this background, make sure you hit the bottoms and the sides. It's very important to make it look very nice and finished. If your background's looking a little too white, just grab a little bit of green and blend that in. This particular green is a viridian green, so it almost uh, looks a little turquoise or blue absolutely beautiful and we're going to be using this color as well for the tulips leaves so it's very very versatile Oop, I got a little glob there I'm going to grab that off and keep going in my up and down motion okay we're going to keep going until we cover the entire canvas and then we're going to let it dry really good before we move on to the next step. So here at Cadell Fine Arts, we offer a variety of art classes for all different mediums and abilities. Painting is one of them, as I've talked about before. We also offer ceramics, kids' classes, special needs. We offer drawing classes, just to get you started, because drawing is the foundation of painting, of course. 
If you or anyone is interested in taking any of these classes, you can call Cadell Fine Arts at 216-664-4183 to register. Now that we are nearing the end of painting our canvas with our background color, when we finish that, we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna hop into painting our teacup. All right, now that our background is dried, we're gonna get started on our teacup. I have my small flat brush this time and we're gonna be mixing our yellow and our white together. All right, so we're gonna start our, our teacup top about halfway through the canvas. So again, I'm gonna grab my brush dip into that yellow and that white to give that nice light yellow color. And we can play around with highlight and shadow as well once we really get into the nitty gritty of this. All right, in order to get our teacup, we're gonna start with some basic shapes here. I'm just gonna draw a straight line going across my canvas, like I said, about halfway, give or take, about, mm, five or six inches across. And grab a little bit more paint and we're going to start that circular part of the cup. So we're gonna be drawing a nice smile here and connecting it at the bottom. Get that basic outline going on. And again, we can touch up and refine it, but we just wanna get an idea of where it's going to be sitting on our canvas. Grabbing a little bit more paint and we're going to do this bottom part. Uh, we're going to be drawing some slanted lines on each side to get that base and we're going to go across that bottom here. All right, now that we have the base of the cup, we're going to start with the handle. Grabbing some paint and we're gonna get that shape going on. So it's almost like a question mark coming out there. All right, pretty fast, pretty simple. Again, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start with my lighter yellow here. I'm gonna grab some more white, mix that up real good on my canvas palette here. And I'm gonna be going in the motion of the cup when I'm painting. So I'm gonna be pulling down and around to really give that illusion of depth. This yellow is a nice cool yellow, but you can grab whatever you have at home. So I'm using my brush and I'm swooping up and over Still kind of sticking with my lighter yellow here. Okay, kind of mixing and blending as I'm going. It's okay if that background shows up a little bit because we can always make our final touches at the end. All right, now I'm gonna grab a little bit more yellow here because we're working from light to dark. We're gonna be giving some shadow here. Again, just kind of pulling that paint over in that motion of the cup. And we're going to be filling the rest of that all in. I know you're doing a great job at home. All right, I'm going across that top. And we're gonna be adding an additional layer once this kind of piece dries here. All right. Now that we've got the most of the cup done, we're gonna get the base here. And we're gonna be grabbing a little bit more yellow this time, mix that with the white. And again, we're gonna be going in the motion of that, those lines there. So I'm going down and I'm gonna be going across with my brush. We 
can make any final touches when we're all finished. All right. This is one of my absolute favorite paintings. I love the spring. It's my favorite season. I love seeing the flowers come up and typically the tulips are the first things to bloom in my backyard. All right, got our first layer done on the cup. Gonna go in on the handle. That's a fun one. Taking our brush, mixing on our palette here, and we're gonna go in one foul swoop. So I'm just going around that line, down and around. Like I said, our question mark. All right, that looks like a nice handle. All right, we're gonna go in for our second layer now. Just kind of grabbing some more white this time, adding those highlights in. Instead of going back and forth, I'm just kind of pulling down this time. When working with a water-based paint, it's always good to add those additional layers for depth. There, that's a nice highlight. And the trick is to really get that blending in. Going from each side. Fill in all the rest. that top there where the rim is and we're going to go back to that bottom real quick grabbing a little bit more yellow than white again following my lines and pulling across now it's really starting to come together all right gonna add a little tiny highlight to this uh, handle here Pulling that around, nice. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and we're gonna move on to the table that our teacup is sitting on. For the table, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna wash my brush that I did my background very well in my cup here. I just used an old recycled cup that I had sitting around the house because you don't wanna grab a drinking cup. Got my paper here. You're gonna wring out your brush really well because you don't want that extra water in there. All right, get started on the table. Same idea as before, especially with our background. We're gonna be mixing our brown and our white together to kind of give it some depth, all right? Make that grain look like wood, okay? So I got my brown here. It's a warm brown and I've got my titanium white. I'm mixing in the center there like we've done before. And we're going to be first drawing a line from where our table is going to sit. So my table is going to sit about here. So it looks like my teacup is sitting right on my coffee table. All right, once you've got that basic line, we're going to go back into our brown and our white. And this time we're going to be going back and forth with our brush. See, that's real nice how that brown and white intermingles and it looks just like that wood grain of a table. Kind of play around a little bit, grab a little bit more brown, grab a little bit more white and just really pull those colors together going in a back and forth motion. Cover up any of that uh, background that you may see kind of coming through our brown here. And we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And it should only take a few minutes. This is a really great painting to do on a nice uh, rainy afternoon that we're going to be experiencing here in Cleveland soon. All right, head all the way to that bottom. 
it's starting to come to there. Just using whatever's kind of left on my brush, pulling colors back and forth. Grabbing some brown, going in that back and forth motion again, grabbing some white. All right, we're almost done with our table here. Our next step is that we're going to start getting those tulip leaves going on in our cup. That's a really fun part. A lot of this painting is using two colors with one brush, which is a wonderful technique for new painters. Really fun and easy to do. All right, as we're getting closer to our cup, we're gonna slow down a little bit and kind of make sure that we get these lines nice and straight. Pull that brush straight across and blend, blend into that bottom. All right, very good. Get these sides here. Finish up this table. Get on the side of that base. All right, very nice. Get on the other side. And connect those lines. that dry for a little bit and uh, we can always go back and add our little bit of wood grain in there too. All right. The next part we're going to do, we're going to get started on our tulip leaves. So we're going to need a rounded brush here. This is going to really allow for that nice shape, okay? So we're going back to our green here, and we're going to take our rounded brush, and we're going to grab mostly green and a little tiny bit of white. And we're going to get started on our shapes here. So I, we're going to be going in all different directions. So I'm going to start over here, grab a little bit more green, Pull that out. We're, it's going to be tapered at the end, so it really looks like a nice leaf. Technique is so nice. Just using these two colors right on our brush. Be using, doing some fat leaves and some skinny leaves coming out. And just have fun kind of playing with the different directions here. Again, we're going to be using a darker green, and you can add a little bit of white in there to kind of li liven it up a little bit. And going this way. And fatten it up a little bit, too. Be coming out of the side there. Just really have fun with it. Just happy little leaves here. Get one in the middle there. It looks like he's having fun. And uh, don't worry too much about any extra space that you might have, because we're going to be going in on there and adding some fun texture towards the end. All right, so we've got mostly this green going on. 
We're going to add a little bit of highlight here. Grabbing some white. And we're going to pull that right down the center. Grabbing some white, pulling that down the middle. of interest and texture here. Okay. We had a couple little sprouts coming out the side. Now we got to think about where we want our tulips to go. So you might want to add a couple little extra small pieces coming out from where your uh, tulip's going to be. I think that looks nice. What a nice gift this would be. All right, so we got our leaves done. This is the fun part. We're going to go right into the tulips while that's drying here. I like to use a large rounded brush for this part. And I've got this cool red and white. And it's, we're going to kind of make this nice pinky tone here. So I'm grabbing some white and some red right on my brush. And we're going to start with these shapes going on for our petals. So we're going to have some open tulips and some closed tulips in our painting. So we're going to go ahead and write on that canvas. Isn't that nice how that worked out? And I'm going to have my leaves opening up a little bit on this one, adding a little bit more red on those sides. This one is still closed. It's waiting to open yet. You can add a little bit more red on the sides. Real easy, real fast, just using this tip of this brush as our guide to really create these shapes here. I think I want one right here. I think this one's going to be opening up and making the house smell real nice. All right, let's add a couple more here. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little one here on the side. And uh, every time you paint this one, just make it a little bit different. That's what I did. Just kind of go with the flow. And I think to kind of balance it out, I'm going to put one on the other side as well. So I'm going to come over here and get that going. Grab a little bit more red. And that cool red makes this beautiful pink color here. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Add your little finishing touches. All right, I'm pretty happy with it. Once you're pretty happy with what you got going on, we're going to start adding this last bit of texture here just for interest. So what I have here is an old house brush. Um, it's real gangly and uh, you know, not perfect, which is going to be great for this. So we have some leftover green and white. I'm just going to dab this house painting brush in there into that green and that white, just kind of randomly. And it's going to be our filler for the teacup. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap right on here. And our canvas is going to do a little dance while I do that. And just uh, go crazy, you know, just add a little bit of interest in there. 
All right. That looks pretty nice. All right, after we've finished our painting, it's so important, guys. You always want to sign it. Artist always signs their work. So I'm going to grab a little bit of white. I'm going to put my initials right in this corner here, SB. All right, so there you have it. We've done our painting of tulips in a teacup. For other programs like this that you may be interested in, give us a call at 216-664-4183 at Cadell Fine Arts. Again, my name is Mrs. Sam. Thank you for joining me with Painting with Rec.